Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trilby and happy 2015! Yes, I'm aware that this video is coming quite a bit late, it's um, when I'm recording this is January 11th. What I actually did was that on um, January 4th, a week ago, I did record this, but then I listened to it and thought, this isn't very good, I'm going to record it again. Uh, this past week has just been, well, these past two to three weeks have actually just kind of been pretty insane. Uh, I won't get into details or anything, but let's just say that 2015 started off on a pretty pretty impactful note in terms of my personal life and things like that. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll we'll gloss over that, move on to 2015 and have an awesome time. I'm finding it difficult to figure out if 2014 was a good year overall. Like in terms of social progress and things like that, 2014 was a was a terrible year. This was the year of Ferguson, the year of um, the year of Gamergate. Um, uh, and just basically where social progress, equality, and things like that took a massive hit, where we might have just lost a couple of years worth of progress and um, prosperity because of some absolute asswipes who hate girls who play video games. Because that's basically what Gamergate is. It's a it's a sexist harassment campaign, and don't say otherwise because you're factually incorrect. Um, of course, um, you, you've got just terrible people coming out of um crawling out from under their holes and just being terrible to each other online and in the world in general and things like that and while of course every year people like that exist and 2014 that, that was basically the year where where they really came out in full force and really just tried to make everybody in the world feel miserable um however for me <laughs> at least personally 2014 was i think a pretty good year um i graduated um i did a, a master's and MA in uh, in film production. Um, got a very good mark. Um, very happy with it, and hopefully it's opened the door to lots of potential opportunities. This past year alone, I made two television pilots. Um, one for CBBS, which um, myself and the people behind it are currently working at getting pushed further. Um, it's of course stuff like that is always slow and steady progress. But when I know something, you'll know something. Uh, and of course, Meet Space, a project that um, conceptually was about um, almost a year in the making, and then it was basically okay. What do you want to do for your final project? Yeah, might as well just do this. And um, lots of production issues, but I actually am very happy with how the end result came out. Of course, it's not broadcast quality. Of course, it isn't. It, it couldn't be. It's a two hundred pound pilot filmed with. DSLR cameras which are not very good for the moving image um, like um, it's one of the reasons why there are static cameras I'm not saying that it justifies the complaints of course there are too many static shots in meat space but um, try and move a DSLR um, and you do not wind up with a good image um, but um, what really what I guess loved about meat space apart from it actually you know getting done is the fact that um, people in the industry who have shown it to have just loved it pretty much or at least they've either loved it or they've loved the potential for it and I of course um can't disclose details right now hopefully by the end of the month there may have been some progress uh, in getting meat space done but I think that the germ of an idea is there and I've, of course I gotta thank everybody for watching it and because if it wasn't for you and for you taking part in the social media elements uh, I wouldn't have had a final project, and I wouldn't have graduated with as, with um, as good a mark as I did. So I'm incredibly grateful. And w one of the most satisfactory things to come out of that was reading the early reviews because I sent out review copies, um, partially to hype up <laughs> the the broadcast because, of course, I needed people to watch it. I needed, and of course, it could have backfired spectacularly if I'd sent out review copies and it was slated and trashed. Um, thankfully it wasn't. For the most part, the reviews were positive. Um, there was one negative review. It was one, I think it was the first negative review. It got two stars, and a family friend saw it, uh, because I was um, posting these on the Facebook group, and they said to me, um, oh, you, got, you got a two-star review, how do you feel about that? And I said, the critic who gave me two stars, in his previous review, he gave Dawn of the Planet of the Apes four stars. So by that logic, I've made something half as good as Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, which I'm very happy with. Um, of course, I'm sure maths doesn't actually work like that. But um, when people were, were saying, oh, you can't take criticism, it's like, dude, I sent out review copies for the express hope of being critiqued. Like, that, okay, logic, blah. Um, 
but the fact I was reading these early reviews and people were saying that um, I, people were dissecting the characters. They were even shipping some of them, which was very different and very new, to me at least. And they were looking at the themes and they were basically explaining and talking about exactly what I wanted people to think and talk about. And that was incredibly satisfying. The idea of, is it right to force somebody out of isolation is it is it good to like is it a good thing to try and push people out of their comfort zone um even though you are trying to do what you think is right and people were dissecting that theme and they were looking at it and and talking about it that was incredibly satisfying and i'm going to stop rambling on rambling on about meat space now because i'm sure a few people uh, will have no idea what i'm talking about because not everybody of course saw it understandably it was a live broadcast but thank you a million times over for helping make that project a success. Um, one final note about Meet Space. Um, it is currently on the shortlist for the Royal Television Society Student Awards Best uh, Comedy and Entertainment um, Division. Uh, we'll find out those results in March, but um, I think that's awesome. Speaking of awards, I was um, this past year took part in um, the award-winning production Grimsby RV. I was part of the. I was a runner, a driver, uh, helped out with the. Um, I also did sound a couple of times. It was basically just a small community project uh, that we had to do. We had thirty days to do an action movie, and we did it. Not only did we do it, but we won. We took first place. Um, it, it was actually during the production of that that I met um, uh, the two female actors for Meet Space, um, both of which were nominated for awards, and one of them actually won, which was awesome. Um, and made lots of new friends from that project. It was awesome. Loved working on it, and hopefully the project's going to be taken further this year. Um, the website, uh, the com. I'm filling it with content weekly, weekly segments such as box office, uh, news, trailer reactions, reviews, and things like that. Uh, currently, at time of recording this video, I am writing my review for Foxcatcher, which should be interesting. So, um, yeah, and hopefully that will um, get a nice back catalogue of content for 2015. Now, here's the thing about 2014. I made um, these projects, made these things, started work on all of this stuff. 2014, for me, is essentially a warm-up for 2015, where I've... Um, what 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 did um, John Oliver say in his net neutrality video? Like you've um like like Ralph Macchio, you've been honing your skills, watching ca- waxing cars, painting fences. Now it's time to do some fucking karate. <laughs> that feels like twenty fifteen. I graduated. I've um, set up these concepts and um, and hopeful proposed ideas. Now let's see if they can pay off in twenty fifteen. Now. Uh, of course, that's all great for me, but I'm sure you guys are sick of me rambling on about what I did last year and are wondering about the future of um, of Trilby Reviews and things like that. Now, um, 2015 for me was a great and very productive year, but my big regret from last year, apart from my treatment of Paddington, because Paddington was a freaking brilliant movie, um, is that you guys and girls didn't see much of that. Um, of course, you were able to watch Grimsby RV online. You could watch Meet Space the broadcast, but I'm talking about the video content. Um, I tried to get out some um, some decent videos. I'm happy with the quality for the most part. I don't think there's really a video in 2015 that I am unhappy with the quality of, except maybe the Postman Pat trailer reaction because I might have been a little bit hyperbolic. Uh, ultimately, Postman Pat the movie turned out to be pretty passable. It, a two-star movie. It wasn't this um, apocalyptic thing for the British film industry that I touted it. That, that I touted it could potentially be um but in the 2014 good year for film terrible year for music you know oh my goodness there's some terrible music last year um games disappointing year as far as i can tell although i got super smash brothers um been kicking ass on that my mains for super smash brothers on 3ds uh, i got it as a christmas present brilliant game are mario little mac and robin uh, for um, for Robin, I alternate between the genders, him and her, him or her, because uh, why not? Um, and you know, just very enjoyable character to play online. Um, no matter how many times I just get off a fully charged thunder attack and it hits, it's never boring. Anyway, I'll I'll stop rambling. I'll talk about good things. Um, yeah, you guys and girls didn't see much of that content. Um, I always try to. I'm always working on some sort of video for the channel, some sort of piece of content. I'm always working. Um, I actually had to take a, a weekend away 
uh, last week, almost forcefully by my family, because they were like, you are doing too much work, you are, you are not taking any sort of a break, you are going away this weekend and you are keeping your laptop at home. <laughs> that was basically what happened. Um, so when people are um, always like wondering when stuff is coming, it's going, it's coming, it's just always in development, or always adding to the pile. Um, but in 2015, now that I've finished university, I'm out of education. I've finished uni, I've graduated, I've finished all this stuff. I can actually, you know, try and commit to this sort of thing full-time as opposed to part-time with an irregular schedule. So hopefully that will work out. My priority right now is to get the year's end videos for 2014 out of the way. Things like most anticipated, uh, top 10 best movies, top 10 worst movies, etc. Before um, then culminating in February when I review all of the Oscar-nominated movies. I did that last year. I made one half-an-hour video where I reviewed all nine of the Best Picture nominees. Um, ultimately, Her and The Wolf of Wall Street were my two favourites last year. I'm, I'm, you'll probably find written reviews for the Oscar contenders on my channel, but I'll still do video, video ones as well, because those ones get the most views. Uh, but, yeah, that's currently um, my plan. Yeah, I'm also, I'm also um, always working on... Um, uh, scripts and things like that, and other projects and stuff and trying to get things pushed forward uh, very slow but sure progress that's really all I can say at the moment but if you want to keep up to date with my life or anything like that uh, you can follow me on Facebook at Mr. Titus Reviews or on Twitter at Trilby Reviews um, so what do I have to say to cap off this video to start off 2015 even though my first video 2015 was an Ant-Man video um Basically, 2014 was the year of the dicks gaining notoriety, where people were um, just incredibly controversial and stupid and factually incorrect and just terrible human beings, but got lots of attention, so they were allowed to do so. Like, Katie Hopkins is pretty much the epitome of stuff like that. I, there was a controversy last night on Big Brother. Somebody, um, I don't watch Big Brother. I don't, I don't drink that Kool-Aid. I piss in it. But um, I heard that uh, one of the contestants... Um, sexually harass another one and try to grope her um some i would not be surprised i honestly would not i wouldn't be surprised if the big brother producers pulled him to one side before he went into the house and said do this thing or do something incredibly controversial because we need the ratings it would as as terrible as that sounds i genuinely would not be surprised because that's the sort of cesspool of entertainment that reality television sort of breeds uh, that sort of um, controversy equals hits, clickbait, um, get, gains notoriety and stuff. So my message or my request for all of you guys and girls out there is even if you don't succeed in not being a dick, try. You know, like, try to be kind to each other. Try to be understanding. Try to... Just try to be nice. Because in the end, at the end of the day, that's really all we can do. That's all we should be doing. Just to try. Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys next time.